Right, hello and welcome back to this uh, series looking at the build of a 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet diesel looker. Um, short up to date, date today, not done any more printing, no new parts, but I have started to kind of officially assemble um, a model. So um, I took the foot plate <coughs> and parts we saw yesterday, um, so I've cut the footwell out and glued on the, the bottom. Um, I've added both buffer beams, um, front and back and I've painted this so this has had a, a coat of primer put on black primer um, just to tie everything together nicely um, and that included um, kind of fitting the axle boxes so I've gone ahead and shortened the axle um, so that they will actually actually fit um, and have trapped the the wheels in place um, I need to double check the back to back at some point. I, it was fine, but I had masking tape on over the wheels to um, while painting it, and I think I've managed to um, at least pull one set out of it. Um, but yeah, in general, um, that all went together nice and straightforwardly. Um, and as I say, I mean the, the nice thing about now having now trapped the the wheels is we can finally see these axle boxes in all their in all their glory. So. Um, as I said, these slot onto the pins that were on the foot plate. Uh, they just glue into place. I put a bit of glue on the pin and a bit of glue on the ends of the leaf springs so that when they touch the the chassis, um, they, they, they're glued in place as well. Um, and I think they look pretty good, uh, really. Um, they look nice and nice and detailed. I mean, you can see they've kind of individual, get the light right, individual leaves on the springs. Uh, bolt details on top where it all all held down. Um, oil cap, I believe, for for greasing and oiling the the bearings. The Hunslet logo actually written onto the onto the axle box. Um, yeah, so I think that's that that looks pretty good, and it um, obviously runs nice and smoothly. Um, I've not put the gear in exactly the right place yet, because I'll still need to to fit the the motor before I do that. But I thought it was worth. Giving it a shot of primer um, helps to kind of tie all the parts together um, nicely. Um, and also I think painting wise, I can basically, this will be all black. Um, obviously it will get some detailing, so there'll be, you know, there'll be some dry brushing of, of some uh, grey uh, paint to give, to kind of pick out some of the highlights and the details. Uh, and obviously then some weathering when I eventually finish it. But I think this will be all black, whereas all the... The majority of the bodywork will be uh, red, so I think my plan is to actually kind of assemble the bodywork, but try and keep it separate so it's not glued into these holes essentially. Um, so I can paint that red away from this, um, and then um, then put the two things back together um, when I've finished painting. Obviously, I'll need to mask up these buffer beams. The front face needs to be painted red, um, so I'll need to to mask up to do that. But I think that's fairly straightforward. I can mask all the way around the sides of the buffer beams and just paint the paint the face. Um, I don't currently, I don't think, have the right colour uh, red in stock for that. In fact, I don't have the right colour red for the body either. When I painted my, I wanted to do this version exactly the same as the first 4mm scale version I did. And that used um, Humbro Crimson, I think it was, um, acrylic um, aerosol can. Um, and for the life of me, I can't seem to find that anywhere. I can find the Humbro acrylic in tins and, and dropper bottles, but I can't find a, an aerosol. Um, so I assume even on Humbrol's own shop, so I assume that they've stopped doing um, that colour in aerosols or, 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 or as many colours in aerosols, so I might have to try and pick a different, uh, either a different, I think it was Crimson was the colour name, so I either have to try and find an alternative or buy the paint and spray it through the airbrush, which for something this big I, I find that the aerosol cans are just, just easier. Um, or I might have to look at a different brand of, of paint, but we'll get there. Um, as I said, I'd like it to be a match to the four millimeter one but if not i'll have to just pick it a pick a different color um but yeah i'm really happy with this it's um it's turned out quite nicely um there were a few dings in places i managed to put a big scratch in the top surface here as well while um i was trying to open the hole out here to make sure the motor would fit before i painted it and managed to miss with the um with the file i was using it took a big chunk out so this is this surface has been um sanded down um it's not the still not it's come out a bit bumpy but i think that was just the the primer coat going on in terrible weather outside um i i, I do painting the painting in the garden so i have to find a reasonably fine day and it's cold today so i think it just um 
it, it it wasn't the best it wasn't the best paint coat. Um, but yeah, I think it um, I think it's fine. I think it'll do. And as I say, I just want to try and get one built up now. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at. So um, <clears throat> next is still the control. The rest of the control area. Um, and more painting. So um, as soon as I get some paint, we'll we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 